Good morning, wrestling fans. Welcome to PWR Today, Thursday morning, September 10th, 2020. On the man they call Meathead. And again, I don't know how many weeks in a row this is where the guy showed up on time. It's Damian Nelson. Good morning, Damian. Hey, you know what, Meathead? That was a good start, but I'd like to uh, I'd like to do a start of my own, if you will. Go. Welcome, everyone, to the Pro Wrestling Report. Welcome, everyone, to the podcast. And welcome, everyone, to PWR Today for September something 2020. You know what I did there? <laughs> you just yeah. made it at something that I could cut and paste any time down the road? That was the old Vince McMahon pay-per-view open. He always did three welcomes. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, the rule of three. I mean, obviously, we all know the rule of three. I mean, because, you know, if I were to do the Shivani one, it's, this could be the greatest thing in the history. We are in a capacity <laughs> crowd. Every Monday night, the greatest in the history. That's right. And, you know, I always did a penzer, too. Uh, my penzer was, ladies and gentlemen, children, the man they call Sting. I mean, he just up, down, up, down, up, down. You know who also did up, down, but it was more subtle and not, not enough people um, pick up on it? Finkel was an up, down guy. Really? Yeah. Not up, up, down, down. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Royal Rumble match. God right damn, up. that's not bad. Oh yeah. my God, Damien, that's not fans. bad. I could hear fan. I mean, I, Damien, holy. I mean, because I thought you were always talentless, but wow. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I was I was lucky enough in this business to call Howard Finkel a friend, and of course. Uh, rest his soul. But um, one of the one of the times I was talking to him, I said, "You know how I just the Royal Rumble is not the same without you. No, I not. needed you to tell me the rules. I needed you to say. <laughs> right. And now let's all find out who drew number one. Damien, again, I, it's it's good." I wish Fink were around here today. I don't know if you've ever done it for him, but it it's good. No, never did it for him. Whew. What a way to start the show. Welcome. Good morning. Thursday morning, September 10th, by the way. September something, 2000 something. Yeah, <laughs> we could always I said that. 20. I know. Oh, you. oh, who could forget this shit of a year? <laughs> I'm trying to. I really am. <laughs> I mean, we always had those 2020 jokes ready to go when the year came around. I don't want 2020 vision. I'm good. All right. Let's talk about AEW last night. Uh, we had business on Dynamite. First off, Matt Hardy uh, comes out and lets everybody know he's healthy. You know what his promo really did, Damien? Was let us know that one. It wasn't a promo for programs. It wasn't a pro, uh, promo for the story, whatever. Matt Hardy came out and says, you know what? Wrestling fans, you really do care. We're glad to see that you love us and we love you. Thank you for, you know, just checking in on me. Uh, Reba, you know, uh, in the background, you know, with that. Damien, I don't know if you saw it, but the um, mama, uh, what do they call those things where, you know, you carry the baby on you? Um, a kangaroo? Not a kangaroo. It's not a mamaroo. It's, um, ah, uh, what's the things? There's straps on. Dads usually wear them. I tried with my I'm daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is an honest moment. To, don't make it dirty. I was just seeking clarification. I'm on. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm on with Woodward tomorrow. Bob Woodward. I've got a on the record interview. So I just want to make sure I'm, I'm getting these terms right. <laughs> Ten four. But she was wearing the strap around the one that went. <laughs> it's no better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, parents. Please help me out in this. Please comment, please like, and subscribe. I know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Bail the man that called me that out. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm not a father, but I am I am sitting here next to my uh, my four month old Labrador Retriever. We can hear it. Chocolate Lab. Yeah, she was. Chocolate Love. Your dog's name's Chocolate Love. Cho Chocolate Lab. She was not pleased with my Finkel impersonation, so oh, that's why no, she was barking. Uh, maybe she was just acknowledging it. She was popping over it. She never heard it. <laughs> we all heard it, trust me Everybody in New York heard it, and you're in Jersey We heard it But anyways, Matt Hardy uh, Letting us know that, you know what, wrestling fans do care um, She was kind of shaking her head You know, he apologized for Putting us, making us feel what we felt On Saturday uh, He apologized to his wife for putting his family through that And apologized to, you know, just Everybody he, He's going to go home, rest it up a little bit more and come back, he's going to go for gold. Do you think there is singles gold or even tag team gold in the future for Matt Hardy and AEW? 
You know, it's it's interesting, me the Matt Hardy saga from the time he debuted in AEW in front of no audience to his story or his feud rather with Sammy Guevara, who you know I am a tremendous fan of. I think he is uh, the future of this business, along with Ricky Starks and uh, and Darby Allen. Uh, but but uh, you know, uh, talk about a, a storyline that's been screwed by 2020 as well. You know, Sammy got a, got uh, suspended. The story had to suspend for a little while. Uh, he threw the chair at Matt recklessly. There's no doubt about that. Matt was, you know, cut open from that. And then this past Saturday at All Out, the spot that everyone's been talking about, the spear off of the scaff, not scaffold, but I guess the uh, man lift onto the table where they, the, 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 the fall was a little bit off base. And uh, you look back at that and, and you wonder who's to blame. And I've asked us for experts in the industry. I've asked workers who's to blame for that. And everyone I talked to said, you know what? It was an accident. And yeah. in this business, accidents happen. I'm not defending Sammy. I'm not defending Matt. But the both of them agreed to that spot before it happened. Yep. What I do think is a challenge, though, is the company line that was delivered reference Matt Hardy. He's fine. No concussion. He's been, you know, the doctors cleared him mm -hmm. uh, to what Rebby, who is very outspoken, his wife on social media said, uh, sending texts she sent to her husband, uh, said that, you know what, it wasn't fine and that it was reckless. But she also didn't blame Sammy. But I got to say this, uh, Sammy Guevara, he's young. He, he's made some mistakes. We all have made mistakes in our younger years. Uh, you know, he's he's had a tough break in his life. I mean, mistaken months. called her Reba. Uh, her Reba uh, <laughs> well, she Rebbe. did one hell of a national anthem at WrestleMania 8. Yes, she did. Um, you know, he, he, he's had a tough run. And, uh, you know, again, an amazingly talented individual. And you got to imagine that, uh, you know, this is probably wearing on him as much as it's wearing on Matthew. And yeah. Matt, as you said, Meathead is going to go home. He's going to figure things out. Uh, he probably needs to because his, his inaugural run in AEW has been riddled with, I won't say controversy, but missteps. I'll say controversy. Missteps, but no, of nobody's wrongdoing, right. of nobody's fault, you know? Uh, right. It's, 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 it's still been entertaining. It's still been good. I was looking forward to the match at All Out this past Saturday. I enjoyed the match at All Out this past Saturday, but we can't disagree that it got awkward when Matt was out for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute after – his head hitting that con concrete after practically missing the table. Yeah, more awkward for me. I don't know if I told you uh, on Saturday night pay per views, I cannot hear them where I'm at. I have to watch them. Oh, so, AB, um, AB? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 not AB, AB. This is a 1980s porn. Uh, no, it's it, it, was, it was difficult to uh, yeah, watch it's because of close, the closed captioning, uh, whatever system they use is not caught up either. Uh, so it, it was difficult. But. Um, it, it, it was confusion. Uh, really, again, you know, and Rebby definitely, I don't think she blames Sammy either. Um, I blame both of them if there was the blame, but I don't have blame, you know, because they both agreed, like you said, to that spot. Um, should they be safer in the future? Yeah. I mean, plan the spots out better. I mean, that's that's concrete, boys. Well, I mean, well you know what? You know what, Meathead? And, and, and you know, I, I, I think you know this as well, having having been in, you know, production for a while. Mm hmm you can practice all day long. You can yeah. rehearse all day long. But when you're in that moment, in that spot, something yep. can still go wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, Matt's looking healthy. But I honestly, and I mean, AEW just had Christopher uh, Nowinski around the talk CTE. So, I mean, that really put a scare into everybody. Because, I mean, we we know so much more about concussions now. We just had the Benoit stuff on uh, Dark Insider Ring. I mean, there seems to be an uprise in chair shots in WWE for some reason. I don't know why, but there has been a plethora of chairs over the last few months. Let's just be safer. That's all I ask. Let's be safer. That's it. Glad to see Matt's back. Glad to see he could address us and glad to see that he's going to go home and rest and get ready. We're waiting for him. Uh, the other big news that happened uh, last night, Miro. It's uh, Miro Day because he's the best man. Uh, a blonde-haired... Uh, basically shaved head and uh, really a Mickey Mouse t-shirt on. Uh, thanks for dressing for the occasion, Miro. But uh, welcome to AEW, and he's all elite. Uh, Damien, your thoughts on what Miro can accomplish in AEW? You know, it's interesting. Uh, Rusev was fantastic. Rusev with Rusev Day. 
in WWE, and I don't remember his sidekick, uh, who, who I think is absolutely tremendous. That's uh, Guerrero's. Um, he's Cousin. married to uh, Eddie's daughter, I believe. Yeah, absolutely tremendous. Maybe we see him come back. But Simon Cowell. It, but yes, <laughs> that's good not job, good job. But you know, it's interesting. I, I'm happy to see him debut. I, I actually thought, I think rather, that uh, waiting in this instance was a great thing. But we've got three married or engaged couples between the two companies, yeah. AEW and WWE, right now. We've got, uh, is it Britt Baker, who's, who's with Britt somebody Baker in and, NXT? Uh, what did Dave say? Uh, Britt Baker is with. Um... General, <laughs> please. What's the it internet? doesn't matter what his name is. But you've also got Moxley and Renee Young, who obviously, you know, has has had asked for a Young release and is no now. longer with the company. And then now you've got Miro and Lana. Uh, it's an interesting dynamic. You know, I, I think, you know, he's a dynamic talent. He's a great talent. Uh, he's got a great look. He's got amazing presence. Um, I just think that if you, if you look at right now all of the AEW champions, they're all former WWE stars. And that was a challenge that a lot of people levied against TNA for a long time. And I think they have to be careful of leaning too heavily on these former quote unquote WWE guys. But at the same time, if they've got talent, if they can present and if they had been to what many say are the big times, then why not go with them? Uh, Miro is the best man. He was the best man. Uh, I think it's good. Watch I his wonder... Twitch. He is the best man. <laughs> And and that was a jab, by the way, because as you know, uh, late last week, yes, word got out that WWE is no longer allowing their independent contractors to well to uh, use their wrestling things. names. So there's a specific yeah. talent that is saying that she's going to go by her actual name uh, because you know it's uh, part of the family, if you will, and she's going to go by that name. Yeah, I mean that's a whole other can of worms. That's not uh, actually. I'll just by the way, Aiden English, uh, Aiden English is what we were looking for. Oh, good job. What did you say before? Uh, Simon Cowell. Not that. <laughs> he's on the. He's on the. He's on Dancing with the Stars. What? <laughs> well, it doesn't doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Uh, you, you, I'll, I'll make one comment on the independent contractor situation. Is I haven't done the research yet, but I'm intrigued as to what happens with actors in Hollywood because they also are independent contractors, and yes. I do believe that if you look deeper into it, you'll find that the studios control them just as much as WWE controls its talents. Here's a, here's the uh, as much as I know about the acting in Hollywood. Don't ask me why I know it. I just know <laughs> it. Um, most actors and actresses sign studio deals. So when you see them showing up on, let's say, for example, somebody keeps bouncing around, wow, that dude's on a lot of NBC shows. It's because he has a contract with the studio that NBC is working with, or he has a network contract. So then mm-hmm. they're contracted to do whatever. You know, a lot of times they sign these studio deals or network deals, and then they start launching, you know, pilots, and they try to get them into pilots. And sometimes the pilots catch, sometimes the pilots don't catch. You know where I really know this from more than anything else? And Damien, you do too. Seinfeld. But that's really how it works. So, yeah, when they get locked in there, they're locked into whatever deal, just like a record deal, you know, uh, and you can't put out a greatest hits album after only one album. So, I mean, you got to produce new content. You know, I just want that Ted Danson money. (laughs) He gets a plane. I should get a plane. Yeah, go ahead and land and watch somebody get robbed and not do anything. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Two more things I want to talk about AEW last night. I I was asking myself this question. Let me me quickly, though, Meathead, ask you a question. What do you see, where do you see Miro going next? What, What sensible things should AEW do with him? Have him on TV every week. It's going to sound dumb yeah. that I say it like that, but have him on TV. Can he ride in on a tank? Uh, there's already a tank on Wednesday nights, and um, it's probably not going to be on AEW. A real tank. <laughs> but that tank still works. I mean, the Robert Stone over by three times. Congratulations. Congratulations to the endorsed Finn Balor on becoming the new NXT champion. Absolutely. I'm, and you know, I'm it, giving up carbs for two days as a result of uh, celebrating that win. <laughs> I'll take your carbs. Don't worry. I'll put them away in the freezer. They'll be there for you later on. Uh, but AEW. It, yeah, go ahead. Let's, let's get back to AEW real quick. I've been asking myself this que- question over the weekend. Once Orange Cassidy, and by the way, sidetrack here, what a clever play by Linda K to pick up Orange Cassidy moments before the pay-per-view and get specialty points in a win. 
You want to talk what about points. You want to talk about the draft. You want to talk about the Peter Bear fantasy draft. How about this guy, me, coming up and dominating over the weekend, last weekend, actually the last three weeks, dominating. Uh, I want to go three weeks. Here, after Damien, here's after what you've done. SummerSlam, Payback, and All Out. I just won, no. won, and won. Here's what you've done. Damian Nelson at AEW's All Out tied the season high with 380 points that you also acquired at AEW Double or Nothing, which means mm-hmm. you're heavily loaded in AEW talent and you need double the points. Wait till full gear. Wait till revolution next year. I got this, bro. And uh, you know, the let's just right now. Let's they, just they, talk they about it real quick. Let's let's get it going. David Hero, uh, like uh, Uncle Joe Biden breathing down my neck, trying to give me a shoulder massage <laughs> is only 20 points away from me. And he's too close. Wait, <laughs> uncle close. Joe Biden. Good God. <laughs> Aren't you going to give us a video update tonight on primetime? Uh, we are going to do a video update. Matter of fact, ironically, it'll probably look like I look right now. <laughs> this is a podcast. They can't see you. <laughs> Luckily for you. So uh, we'll do an update tonight. We'll, we'll talk all about it. We'll talk about how I haven't scored points and I let creepy uncle Joe, Dave hero Biden catch up to me and breathe <laughs> on my neck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's within 20 points. Um, but I'm calling it right now. I called it uh, Tuesday with Dave. I called it yesterday with Matthew. My girl, Rhea Ripley, will make it all the way to the Women's Royal Rumble, win it, and take on Charlotte and beat Charlotte at WrestleMania for the women's title. Oh, it's long-term planning. It is long-term planning. So, uh, But one more thing. AEW, let's get back. We've back and forth, back and forth. I've been asking myself about Orange Cassidy, right? What's next for him? Well, he got a nice big singles win, got beat down again, and it was to help put over the best friends and Santana Ortiz match that's coming up next week where they're just going to meet in the parking lot and beat each other with socks with quarters in them. Well, uh, that's different. <laughs> you know, Orange Cassidy, uh, Jericho, even, Jericho even admitted recently, much like I've said on our broadcast for the last few months, I didn't get it. But once I got it, I couldn't get enough of it. Yeah. Uh, Orange Cassidy is, A, not Jason Solomon, uh, <laughs> a good friend of the show. Uh, but at the same time, he is I've been wondering abs- that myself. You know what? He's tremendous. And Jason Solomon's tremendous, by the way. Um, you know, I love it. Hey, I think Orange Cassidy probably has a shelf life. And that was what a lot of people said about Gold Dust. And that turned out to be true until he involved his character, uh, right. who, of course, had the match with Lance Archer uh, last night on Dynamite. Um, I think they have to continue to evolve that character. And clearly, Chris Jericho's moved on to. Yeah, clearly, Chris Jericho's moved on to MJF and vice versa. So. Where does that leave Orange Cassidy going forward? He's got a big win over big win over Jericho. Clearly, uh, you know maybe he's next for a championship opportunity. I don't know, don't know. There's a bigger star you can beat in AEW than um, Jericho. So we'll see what happens. But they've got to continue to develop that character. We've got to want to continue to follow him and cheer for him and root for him. Absolutely, yeah. And please don't let it happen. Like because Jericho put over Fandango, Fandango. And what happened to him? I mean, Fandango now a new NXT tag champion. I mean, the the runoff of that match from WrestleMania, nothing happened. So Jericho did his job. Cassidy did his job, absolutely. Now we need more. The next thing, please. We're ready to go. Speaking of ready to go, I'm just about ready to go. Hey, we haven't talked about our sponsors yet, uh, Damien. We haven't talked about Manscaped.com. You know, if you actually go to the website, and you know this because you've already gotten the lawnmower, but folks, if you go to the website and type in the promo code PWR, you can get 20% off plus free shipping. And you get, I I mean, I know they're giving away ball powder. I know they're selling, um, you know, all that stuff. You can get a toiletry bag. I mean, because, you know, a guy like me who never leaves his house, once he leaves, he's going to want to put all the stuff in his toiletry bag, of course. So head on over to uh, manscaped.com. That's M-A-N-S-C-A-P-E-D.com. so they have big fan. you were talking about earlier, the the with the with the with the attachment. No, <laughs> with the attachment. You mean like uh, trying to carry the babies? No, is that what you're talking about? I don't think the babies happen until. Well, actually, I don't think babies come out of that. No, no, no. Manscaped oh, again. is great. You know what? Say goodbye as as a. Uh, oof. Um, so, say goodbye to ingrown hairs. I'll just say that. Okay. And Damien, as a, I'll say it, as an African-American male, um, in oh, hairs. Oh, wait, is that what I was going to say? 
I don't know. I'll say it. I, I do know that uh, ingrown hairs are a thing. I don't suffer from those as much, but I do know that it's a thing. So the lawnmower 3.0 is taking care of you, huh? Absolutely. Uh, you know what? It's the most delicate thing I've ever used. Uh, Manscaped.com. Use the promo code PWR. A lot of you already have gone there, ordered your device. We want to hear your feedback. Tell us what you think. Yeah. How has Manscaped groomed you? And what has she had to say about the experience? <laughs> uh, send us that your comments. That was a 3 a.m. in the morning commercial right <laughs> there. If I ever heard one. Send us your comments at PWR360 now on, uh, I'm sorry, at PWR360 on Twitter, at PWR360 now on Facebook and Instagram. And Meathead, I'm looking forward to tonight's edition of the primetime super yep. show with uh shane helms and david hero because i guess he has to join uh, we're going to break down the entire week's activities including all out or we'll review be the booker see who got those picks right we'll also talk about raw and by the way i don't think i'm going to be able to stop talking about dominic for the near future because damn that boy is good and uh Oof, what a match on Monday night against uh, Murphy uh, by Dominic. We're going to talk about that. We're going to match talk about was that. good. The ending was just ridiculous. Uh, I mean, you guys will talk about it tonight. Dave and I already, you know, said our piece on it Tuesday morning. You can hear more from Dave tonight. So, we'll also talk about NXT Finn Balor winning a championship. We'll talk about Dynamite and we'll preview. The rest of the week in professional wrestling. That's tonight live, Fight TV, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also streaming live on our social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, and also on YouTube. Well, hey, thank you for buttoning that up for me. So, for Damian Nelson, I'm the man that called me dead. Hey, thanks for stopping by. So long, everyone.